this so it's really simple. We start by taking the, the stator and this is the front of the motor. Well, at least yeah. it goes in like this. So so I'm going to push you now a few. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to start by putting the spare wire in the back. And I like to do a finger's length. So I'll put the wire against my knuckle, pull it out until I have a lot of fingers extra hanging off the end. That's it. Okay. And it doesn't matter where you start. Now we're going to do 10 winds around this first tooth. So there's one. one. There's two, three, there's nine, and there's ten. So instead of going, well, yeah, that's ten winds technically once it's touching that corner again. Mm -hmm. But on that tenth wind, now we're going to go on the adjacent tooth. kind of keep yeah. everything yeah. tucked away. If it looks a little messy, it's two, three, four, up and down for ten. Okay, so we wound these two teeth. This that was the first one, that one was the second this one. This one was the first one, this one was the second one. And it's important to remember that this pair was they the first together. half. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, they operate together, but it was the first half of the first phase. Mm -hmm. There's three phases. So basically, after I'm done with phase one, I'm snipping the line, we'll start over again. But you have to remember where part A of phase one was, mm -hmm. as opposed to part B. So, and then another helpful thing to remember is that yeah, just in general, general remember that when you're winding these first two teeth, you wind in together. Both go in together, out from the outside, in together between these first teeth. Because the opposite side is going to be the opposite. Mm -hmm. So, let's move to the opposite side to finish phase one. So let's bring the wire around, hug the uh, shaft here, and then we're going to start winding from the inside from out. the inside out. So like I said, on these two teeth, you're going out from the outside, going down the middle. Now we're going to wind this tooth, but we're going to go starting from the middle, and it's going to explode out like it looks like a fountain or a volcano or something. So, we're winding this tooth. Let's get started. Don't get dizzy. We're flipping this around now. Ten winds. One. Two. Three. Four. We finished the tenth wind. Now we're going to go up. <coughs> And we're going to go around the other two that's adjacent, 180 degrees from the very first two through one. Ten. All right. Oh, you got wire cutters. So that finishes phase one. We'll see that we. Phase one is these two and these two, so let me get a good shot of that. Okay, point at phase. Focus. Yeah. So that's the first half, or the first third of the motor is wound now. Okay. So now we have all of them wound. We started with two, went to the opposite two, 
went counterclockwise adjacent to opposite to counterclockwise or counterclockwise adjacent to opposite to and they're all done now. The first half of the phase they went in between the teeth, the second half of the phase they flowered out of the teeth. And so now with ten winds on each tooth, we're ready to terminate and finish the motor. The way that you do this, it doesn't it doesn't matter if you get disoriented or whatever. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You just pick two adjacent wires that are close to each other. Two adjacent wires, two adjacent wires. And wind them together. So, grab these two. Now let's twist. I don't twist all the way to the very end. Leave these guys because they still have enamel on it. We need to clean off the enamel. So, next two. I'll show you how to clean off the enamel. Okay. Now we're cleaning off the enamel. Take a lighter, you burn it off. Put in the blue part of the flame until you can see it turn to gold or yellow, and then just scrape it off. And it smells. Next to You hold it after the point that it's already copper colored, then you start singeing it and it just kind of turns black and it still works, just I think you have a better electrical connection when it's shiny when copper it's color. Yeah. yeah, so it doesn't take very long. You see how long I'm doing it. And that's copper colored, that's copper colored there. Oops. Huh. Okay. Then go ahead and wind it the rest of the way. All the way to the end. All the way to the end. All the way to the end. Um, then I find out which one's the longest. Uh, or which one's the shortest, I mean, this one's the shortest, so we're going to have it go up in the middle, and these two are going to wrap around this way, meet it, and we're ready for shrink tubing. Let me, uh, I brought some. Oh, perfect. That's even, yeah, yeah, you want to cut these ends even. There we go. So, because we need to make sure both wires have a good electrical connection. Alright. Pause. Okay, we need three pieces of tubes. So one, two, three. And just eyeball it. Do the best you can. You want to cut it short enough so that the end of the wires are still exposed. So, we'll cut that one right there. Wire cutters work fine on this also. Stick it on. Perfect. And then shrink it on. That is a really big flame. We don't need that big. Careful with the that we don't burn any more enamel off. They don't burn enamel off on the yeah. motor. Yeah, be careful letting the flame get down here. In fact, I suggest you do as small a flame as possible and just lick it. Because that will shorten the life of your motor considerably if you don't <laughs> enamel <laughs> off. <laughs> okay, next Shorten one. the life of your speed controller, too. Okay, <laughs> that's going to be about... And shrink it. Alright, now uh, give me a piece of shrink tubing. Actually,
Here comes a piece of 4 millimeter. Ooh, right there. This piece of shrink tubing. All you want is a piece of shrink tubing, 4 millimeters, about that long. Put it over all your wires. Take it down to the very end. Like that. And shrink it and shrink it. Then you're done. And then just slide this back on carefully. Put your e-clip on the back. You can put bolt plugs and use it. It's finished. Thin.